Welcome back to another battle for Total War Warhammer. We're looking at three major Imperial armies about to fight an evil horde. We're looking at two Chaos Factions and one Vampire Count player. Let's go look at what they have. And one day, I hope the game does slow down a little bit, that way I don't have to go into slow motion. We're looking at a Chaos Lord, a Shagoth, fortunately not Colec. Two Hell Cannons are back here. We've got a Chaos Sorcerer. In the middle, we're looking at a Vampire Count player with a Vampire. A Terror Geist, and who's over here? Manfred von Karstein. It took a little bit of damage. Blood Knights are back here. We've got an Ever Watcher for the Chaos Player on the right flank. The right flank. Our left flank. And we have Togshin and Mankirk joining me again. If you would like to play with me in the future, I do have my Discord server linked down below so you can talk to me there. I usually check in once a day or whatever. Here's our Arch Lector. Beautiful. Hammer Infantry. They'll be fighting. Okay. I'm going to let the battle just move on. I'm in the middle. I brought a Bright Wizard. I brought in Handgunner Swordsman. Unfortunately, I didn't anticipate magic really giving me a hard time. But they did, in fact, do a lot of damage to me with that spell. And I did bring in poor Sodbringer. He's actually a lot of fun. I love to use him. I had a lot of fun using him. On my right flank, I believe we have Mankirk, if I remember right. No, 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 no. Toshin's over here. Mankirk is over here on the left flank, I believe. I probably should have been fighting a Chaos player, not the Vampire Count in the middle. That would have been much easier for me with my build. But we're looking at Great Cannon now firing upon our foes. Hitting that Shagoth may have been a better idea when I think about it. But fortunately, the one Hail Cannon is gone, so maybe not. It's actually really good to take out one Hail Cannon in the very beginning of the battle. That can do a lot of damage and diminish morale. We can't have any of that. I'm trying to hit whatever I can right now. I should not have brought a Sunmaker. I mean, even a friggin' Luminarch would have been better. Or Mortars, maybe. But they're way too tough. They're just charging in right now. Look at that horde, though. It's really a lot. We have magic now tearing into our lines, and we're looking over here, hitting a Chaos Lord. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, good. They're now shooting at that Shagoth. Friendly fire, beautiful. That was a great hit. I'm gonna watch a charge and then I'll go over the battle. They're buffing up already. They've got a fire sorcerer. It's very effective, but that will hurt us a lot. Okay, let's go over what's going on right now. Over here, we're looking at the Shagoth just charging in. Already 12 kills, and it's really bad for flagellants, and they will die quickly. We're looking at a Volkmar the Grim on the right flank. We have Halberds and even a Royal Altar of Griffites group. Which is very powerful and very good. I've got my Knights of the Blazing Sun. I wanted to use my fire damage against the undead player. And there we go. I'm trying to get a few more hits. I'm trying to diminish the Graveguard a little bit. A Vampire is always very effective. They're very good at melee and they have very powerful spell casting. Over here, the Chaos player is yet to clash. But he's got a pretty solid army to take out an Empire player. Unfortunately, we did not excel in close quarters combat. We're okay at it, but we did not excel at all. Jack of all trades for the Empire, baby. They need a little bit more fleshing out in very many ways. I mean, I feel like they need like a mid-tier infantry unit to hold, but that's okay. All right, here comes Volkmar right now, going after a Chaos Lord, pushing right through. Beautiful. Halberds are now charging in. It's going to be a very wild battle. That Shagoth is currently taking a lot of damage. All right, that's happening. Let's go over my own line. If you go look at it right now, I'm going to be buffing people up with my Fire Sorcerer or my Bright Wizard. I'm going to be using a lot of buffs as we go on. I have Tattersoul's over here holding for me. I mean, look at that huge line. It's a giant line going all the way down. They met us sort of like right in the middle. I mean, we didn't really move much. They came at us. I mean, they had to. We have artillery. They had a little bit, but not too much. Wait, would that be from... You don't have kill like. Okay, right. Brought in a wizard then. Volkmar is crashing on through, buffing up his army. A very good character to bring in for a battle like that, where you've got a lot to support. Okay. Will there be any friendly fire? I'm hoping not. We're hitting the Grave Guard as they're charging in. Hopefully, we'll destroy even more of them. If we look over here, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. He doesn't have anything that can really hold against the sheer might of what that Chaos player has right now. The Knights are incredibly powerful. They're going to break them completely. They're going to die pretty fast, I believe. A few of you guys are charging in. Yeah. I think he actually brought a few of his units over to Toshin's side. Maybe the Great Cannon. 
you don't really want to do that when you're essentially having to fight a one versus one on your own side. So, we've got a uh, Manfred over here taking some damage. I didn't manage to kill him. He's already got 18 kills from still casting alone. I do have my Bright Wizard over here. And, hold on. I want to find the Todd Bringer. Todd, I use him over and over to charge in. And he charges in all the freaking time. I mean, look at him. He, he is just really cool looking. I love him a lot. I mean, he's not much better than an Empire Lord. But, man, is he a lot of fun to use. I don't know why. It's very gratifying. That's right, so Blazing Sun. I'm moving them over behind the enemy. They do have Blood Knights, and that's really bad for me. They can easily beat me. Well, not easily, but they can do a lot of damage to me. It's even slowed down a little bit with so many units on the battle map. It's pretty crazy. Okay, I'm going to go over here, put it in slow motion. Just for now, as we're fighting for a little bit longer until we kill a little bit more. Usually I don't have that issue, but I suppose maybe it's a little bit too much and I have the game turn up pretty high. Maybe, I don't know. I've played three versus threes in the future, or in the past rather. Well, in the future? Yeah, in the future too. I'm a little bit out of it right now if you can't tell. <laughs> Let's go over here now. Okay, good. They're buffed up as well, right? Yeah. Cascading Fire Cloak, very powerful. It gives you a lot of melee defense and a lot of armor piercing. It's a very powerful buff. I love it a lot, and I use it over and over and over. That spell, again, is really destroying us. I mean, usually it wouldn't be very effective, but when you have a 3 versus 3 where you can't move very far, it can be very effective because you're all bunched up. You don't have a choice. But yeah, look at all that melee clashing into Mankirk. He's not going to get very far. They're going to destroy him, and they are. Mankirk will be broken. Which is really bad for me. If you have a player that might break, and you know that they might break, put them in the middle. At the very least, you can potentially help them out. But if you're on a 3 versus 3 and he's broken on your flank alone, then you're going to be in a lot of trouble. You're going to be flanked. Okay, it's beginning to speed up. I mean, if you look at what's going on, there's a lot more going on in Warhammer Total War than in, like, let's say, another Total War game where... You don't have all the special effects like glowing swords or spells all over the map. Because, I mean, we have spells going off all over the map right now. And Tokshin's fighting incredibly hard. He does a great job. His abandonment. Yeah, that's when it kind of slows down a little bit. But you know what's going on. It's all good. It's like a person with slow motion in a way. Yeah, Volkmar ran through. But look at that. I'm going to zoom out real quick. Here's our perspective. Handgunners are shooting in, killing more of these warriors right now. We have even more on the way. Aspiring warriors are clashing. Usually I can give you more of a tactical analysis, but here it's just basically a line battle. I'm trying to use my greatswords to mitigate any type of damage that I'm taking by just charging and flanking where I can. I can't really flank it too much, but I try to flank it a little bit over here using armor piercing to go after the grave guard. Now, a vampire cow player can be extremely aggravating in a 3 versus 3 because if they have a flying leader, they just float back going in and out, and if you don't kill their leader, they're going to wait there the entire time. Unfortunately, as Mankirk begins to break, Lances are beginning to come after me, and that's when I begin to just really endure a lot more damage. I was doing fine. I was actually beating the Vampire Count player everywhere. I have my Bright Wizard fighting. I keep on buffing. Toddbringer's doing his own part. 58 kills now. I mean, he ends up doing a lot of damage, right? He's fighting Graveguard. Alright, let's go check on Tokshin real quick. Fortunately, Tokshin was able to win. I mean, Tokshin plays a lot more than I do. And he's damn good. He knows what's up. Let's go look over here. He's currently beating a Chaos Lord. Volkmar has how many kills? 28? Not a lot yet. But he's beating the Chaos Leadership. Yeah, he's completely winning on his flank. But unfortunately, I'm still taking a lot of damage. The handgunners are flanking his warriors and destroying them. Oh, not hand gunners. So that's revenge, even better. All right, let's go look over here real quick. 240 kills for the Lances. I mean, that cast player was a heavy hitter. He broke right through Mankirk, destroyed him completely. I don't even know what type of Empire build would have been able to hold against that type of very powerful group. Oh, right. I remember why it's slowing down a little bit. Okay. In a 3 versus 3, you don't want to give everyone 17,000 gold each. I gave everyone that much gold. Usually, that's for a 2v2, but for a 3 versus 3, I mean, you can have a lot. You can have so much on a battlefield, it's really bad. 
Sterling's Revenge is destroying them. That was really incredible. That was a great flanking move. I mean, Revenge is really good to use just because they're able to move quickly and do a lot of damage. The Grave Guard just will not die for me. My Spearman, I mean, my everything is actually holding pretty well. I have great swords fighting all over the map. Sartorial's on the way now. 18 kills total. He'll definitely be getting more. I have handgunners back here who are fighting. I didn't manage to get a lot of kills. I'm trying to kill these freaking Crypt Horrors, but using handgunners can be so finicky. If you're not, like, perfectly aligned, like here, can't really see. And I didn't have time to zoom in to get perspective because the game is so fast. Keep in mind, the battle is less than 10 minutes long. Or that many units on a battlefield only uh, like nine minutes nearly two minutes long but not quite man kirk is not yet gone the chaos player did rush to go take me out oh and they're upgraded too no wonder they did a lot of damage but no he definitely rushed a little bit too much he should have destroyed man kirk completely but he didn't do that which means that man kirk was able to harass him a lot well, let's go look over here again i'm trying to hold where i can yeah these guys are great not a ton of kills, but they do not break no matter what. They hold. They hold no matter what. Todd Bringer. I'm having him heal up. He's charging in. Let's go look at his kills real quick. 84 kills, man. I kept watch of his kills, and I loved it. It was really cool to watch him just get a lot of kills. Titus are over here. 71 kills. Very good. Revenge is over here. How many kills? 71 still. We're trying to get Sartorial. Yeah, they had a lot of lords who were able to wreck me in the latter part of the match. My bright wizard began to run away, and I'm trying to buff everyone up. Now, we had a lot of lag the whole fight, because we had too much on the battlefield. And it happened to Tokshin too. He told me that it also happened to him, where he was trying to cast a spell, but he tried to double-click on his own hero, and then he ended up casting a spell on his own hero. And I did that, too. Lances are beginning to move in. My Bright Wizard's trying to do a little bit of damage. I don't know how much he'll do. I'm trying to hit Sartorial. We're all trying to do a lot of damage. He's debuffing him with a Curse of the Midnight win. Which, late game, any type of buff or debuff can be very effective. There was a battle back here that we didn't get to really look at too much. Not very important. Knights of the Blazing Sun fighting Blood Dragons. And those are incredibly powerful. They have Anti-Large. It's really like the first battle where I can't even begin to go over everything that was going on. It was such a chaotic fight. Having that many units on the battlefield all at once. Fortunately, Sartorial dies, and Mankirk brought in Pistoliers. He was able, able to get a few kill swords at like, the very end. Over here, he's still going. The Arch Lector didn't die yet. Barely any kills. No wonder he didn't break. Handgunners are still shooting. Which is fantastic, actually. Only one kill on that last volley, unfortunately. I was hoping he would get more kills. It, handgunners aren't really as effective anymore. I would rather Bowmen. Like, Peasant Bowmen, they're great. Cryptors have over 100 kills. If I had killed him in the very beginning, that would have saved over 100 men. But they were very hard to reach. Over here, we're looking at a Terror Geist charging in. Sartorial. Oh, I thought he died. Oh, okay. He didn't die. He was only knocked down. I thought he died a little bit prior to what we're dealing with right now. But if you look at it, Tokshin, again, able to win. He was still having to fight more. The guys just did not give up at all. They kept coming in. Forest Toddbringer. Still fighting. Yeah, he's over here, actually, fighting Sartorial. He's like, I don't give a damn, I have a mustache. I got it. Whoa. And a terror, guys. He's like, I still don't care. Now, here he takes a lot of damage. But then, Tuxin comes in. He brought in a lot of Rice Guard, and they end up doing a lot of damage. Sartorial is nearly gone. He gets rid of that terror guys immediately. And that's how we win. Everything begins to fall apart. And we just take out whatever he has left. Before we end the battle, let's just go over like how crazy that fight was. Look at how many we had. Yeah. That is a lot. All right, let's keep on looking real quick. Chaos all over. Dead bodies all over the map. Alright, let's end it now. Time for it to all end. Yeah, Tokshin saved us both there. I mean, I held on. Fortunately, my men didn't break, but I definitely could not have held on my own. Let's go look at what we have. I hope you enjoy my name. The narrow-eyed cock goblin. Man, Kirk, and Tokshin are here. The normal ones. Alright. Spearman, 108 kills. Boris Toddbringer, 103. Love it. 
one greatsword group, 269, 122, 117. One group got destroyed early on, but my greatsword's got a lot of kills. My handgun is not too much. My crossbows are taken out pretty early on. My Knights of the Blazing Sun did end up fighting a lot of blood dragons, and that's why they did lose a lot. My Sunmaker, only 105 kills, not really important. In a big battle like that, I think the Sunmaker isn't very important. In a smaller battle, it's a lot more important to bring a Sunmaker or a thing like that that can get kills. But in a big battle, not so much. Okay. Mankirk. An average amount of kills all throughout the army. A lot of cheap units. Pistoliers, you don't want to bring when you have a huge army. Just because if you can't handle that type of micromanagement, you don't want to bring that. You don't want it to move all over the map. Arch Lexer just isn't very powerful in melee. If he was a little bit more powerful in melee, I would love him and bring him more. Tokshin, let's go look at it. Silver Bullets, 132, 74 for uh, Serlin's Revenge, 118 for the Great Swords. If we go look over here, Tattered Souls, 88, so a bounce amount of kills. Okay, Oscar, 100 for a Vampire, 34 for Manfred, 103 for the uh, Cryptors. We concentrated on the Blood Knights, and they were very hard, but we got them down. Terror Guys, a few kills. And I managed to really do a lot of damage to him. He got a good amount of kills too. Draylock, not a lot with his Hell Cannon. Those did not help out. The Chaos Warhounds did nothing. They broke and left. The Shagoth was a very easy target in that fight. The Chaos Warriors did manage to get some kills. Sure. 101, 81, 73. Now here's a dude who trucked right through us. And I cannot believe how well he did. He did extremely well. Very elite tiny force. And he didn't carry the battle. But he definitely could have. Man. 55 on the Everwatcher, Aspiring Champions. I definitely would have brought more of them. I love them too much, but I can't really question him and his choices because he did a lot of damage. And upgraded Chaos Warriors, 102, 51, 153, 60, 142, 119, 150 for Chosen, 156 for more Chosen that have Halberds, 125 for Knights, and then for Chaos Knights with Lances. I mean, 303 is incredible. That destroyed us. But we won a battle. It was a close fight. A very good one. I hope that you did enjoy it. If you would like to see more, let me know down below. If you want me to play any faction, let me know again down below. And as always, until then.